Hey, what's up? This is Dan from TCDCmedia.com and I'm hanging out here with Vanna. What's up? What's going on? Why don't we start this off by you guys telling us your name and what you do in the band? I'm Chris, I play drums. Davey, I'm vocals. Alright, so you guys have a new album coming out. Yep, in uh, October, right? Yep, that's why you tell us about it. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's our first record with Davey on vocals. Uh, we had a, a, our singer leave about a year ago and um, decided to get right in the studio and just show everybody our you know, debut Davey. And it sounds fucking great. It's uh, a lot more heavier, a little more melodic. It's a great direction, a little more mature. It's awesome. Yeah, really, really very, stoked very excited to get stuff out with me on it. I've been writing these guys for a while. And, um, me and Chris have known each other for a long time. We've always kind of been dying to be in bands together. It kind of worked out great. So now we're uh, in the studio and everything kind of showed really well. So I'm really excited about it. So a few questions about you being the new frog. Sure. Uh, first of all, how does it feel not singing your own songs? Um, that was like that's like something that everyone kind of wondered at first. And the thing is, like me and the dudes um, all kind of come from the same area. And, uh, we're all from Boston. Yeah, we're all from like the same. We all kind of grew up a little bit together. Like, I've known these guys for a really long time. And um, it's kind of like as much as a, as like the fans of Vanna can feel the words and feel like what things mean. So could I. I mean, it was kind of like I just applied them to like you know my situations. And I, I definitely like I, I went to Vanna shows as a friend, hung out, and sang along. And I love I love what you know what they stood for and what they, what they talked about. You know, just things that I can relate to too. So when I stepped into that, it was very easy. To go with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then secondly, how is it like being the new frontman? You know, just like people not knowing who you are, maybe. Yeah, just... I mean, it was weird for a little while. I mean, I've been in the band over a year now, and so I've, and we've done like three or four full the best tours. Okay. And I've got I've gotten everything from, from like, hey, new guy, or like, who are you, or where's Chris? Like, um, it's cool. Like, I understand like when bands transition members in and out. It's always hard, but uh, I think the one thing that fans need to remember is like the band's still the same band. You should love, love them no matter what. Like, you know, people are important, but I mean, it, it was a little weird for me for a little while, but uh, everyone's been really supportive and really cool and like, you know, kind of welcome with open arms. So it's been actually a really easy transition for me. We got a great home crowd and everybody just really embraced David really quickly and just like, it was like, it was just a really, really smooth transition for everybody in the band and all of I, I assume all the fans because they're all still listening and hanging out. So. Yeah. So now you guys are going on tour with that Wrestling Bear once. Yes, we are. Yes. Uh, how'd that come about? I've been friends with those guys for a while. We did a, uh, a human abstract tour, and they were direct support, I believe. Yeah, or no, Oh, Sleeper was direct support. And they were on the tour as well. We hit it off with our Wrestling Bear once, guys. Like, crazy. Mm -hmm. Partied all the time. Just had an awesome, awesome time. So when it came time for them to do a headliner, they called us up, and they're like, hey, guys, you want to hang out with us for a month and a half? We're like, all right, let's do it. So when's that happening? Uh, late see, September. Yeah, oh, well, it's actually the last week of September and then all of October. It's yeah. full U.S. and uh, it's going to be great. It's uh, I don't still bear once, uh, Skites Airplane, Chelsea Grin, The Chariot, and us. So uh -huh. it's going to be a cool tour. So it's like Warp Tour, you get to hang out with the guys. Yeah. Like, short little break. You get yep. to hang out with the guys. Hang with the guys. <laughs> That's what we were saying. We actually we actually been hanging out with them on the bus and just chilling. It's cool because it's like a little teaser to like the month and a half we're going to be able to just hang out all the time. It's really great. I just met them because I wasn't on that tour. I met them. They played uh, up where, near I, where I live. And uh, I went out to the show and just on a whim just to meet them. And I became like friends with instantly. And now we're all like you know, really tight. So if you I haven't really... heard that band, please go check them out. There. Yeah, I also the band. I want to check out that band. They're great. incredible. Yeah. So what do you guys do to keep busy on the road? Uh, everyone always asks us this question. <laughs> I feel like um, of late, uh, we've just kind of all been like really, really hanging out, talking about music a real lot, and like hearing different bands and like thinking about writing. Like, this is cool. This is cool. And I, I think I think the most important thing is like you got to be friends with people you're a fan with. And I think the most important thing we can do is just kind of hanging out together. You know what I mean? Like we have off days. We'll just go get food. Maybe go to the movies. You know. The other day we went to a water park uh, after the show. So. We all, we all try to hang out. Uh, we went to a water park after the show was uh, It was like two, or, two warps ago. It was like two shows ago. We all, they opened a water park that's attached to the event. We all just like went on oh, the water slides together. That's yeah, Cincinnati. Oh, well. Um, what is it? Kings Island? The beach? Yup. That's what Dude, it was. That, with that huge slide that's like the bonsai thing it's called? Yeah, but they didn't open that Oh, that us. is that. Dude, I went on that. I was like six years old, man. Oh, I was like, I like came up, I could feel myself coming off the slide, yeah, and I was dude. like shitting my pants the whole way down, dude. But yeah, that, that was a messy that place, ride. That place is awesome. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, 
So, what bands have you guys been checking out on one tour? Oh, so many bands, man. Dude, there's a lot of really good bands. Of course, I, I wrestle band once just joined the tour, and they're incredible. Amorosa has been killing it like every day. Uh, Pace of Day is on the Pace tour the now. Day. Pace of Day is incredible. They're great. Corner Moscow is great. Sub 41 will always be a dear yeah. punk band Some, in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I love those. Uh, Bring Me the Rise, it's been doing great. Uh, every time I die. Every time I die. Like, it's cool because this this year there's so many bands that like I really like, like that I listen to anyways that are on a tour that we kind of like get to hang out with and get to go watch every day. Four Years Strong, they're from the same area as I are. Uh -huh. They are destroying it every day. Set Your Goals is doing great. Uh, a lot of really good bands. So Half My Trio. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, dude, dude, that's the only band I've seen. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it, it's really weird to like be able to share you know, stages and stuff like that with bands that like, we look up to, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's been really cool. Uh -huh. um, so, from Boston, you guys Boston sport fans? Let me say that again. Being from Boston, you guys Boston sport fans? Yes and no. You kind of you kind of have to you be have no matter to be. what, even if you don't like sports. It's like being from Canada, you have to like hockey. <laughs> being from Boston, like, even if you don't like You're sports, not a Red Sox during Red the Sox seasons, out. like, you will straight kill someone over baseball. <laughs> even if you don't like baseball, so, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be a fan from Boston. I mean, I definitely am, most of you guys are. Uh, Patriots, Red Sox, Patriots, Red Sox Bruins, yeah. Celtics. Celtics. Good sports area over there. Yeah, dude, we're underdogs, man. We, uh, you know, we've had a lot of years of uh, hard times, but recently we've been coming up, so, yeah. Awesome, well, I think that about wraps it up, you guys. Cool, man. Anything you want to say? Uh, go buy our new record. It'll be in stores in the fall. Come check us out on the 12th. It's called The Honest Hearts EP. Awesome. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, man. Awesome.